Hi everyone. Welcome back to XRX. Today we are talking a closer look at a global oil market in 2025, where prices are heading was driving supply and demand, and the risk that could reshape the outlook over the next year and a half. At the core, the story is straightforward: supply is growing faster than demand. That imbalance is ready building inventories and keep. Being prices under pressure, but has always in oil markets, geopolitics and investment trends can change the picture quickly. Over the for, over the last few months, the International Energy Agency has been signaling a slowdown in demand growth. For 2025, global consumption is expected to rise by just around seven million barrels per day. A quarter space compared to the strongest post COVID recovery years. Part of this slowdown is linked to weaker growth in some emerging markets, while in advanced economic transports, fuel demands has essentially stopped growing. On the supply side, the numbers tell a very different story. This year alone, global supplies are projected to expand by nearly 2.7 million barrels per day, with more to come in 2000. 26 much of this increase is being driven by opec plus easing back on its easier earlier production cars along strike strong outputs from the united states brazil canada and guyana iraq for example has already been raising this export by valgo but simply there are more barrels hitting the markets in the world currently needs this over supply supply is showing up in the data inventories in both the us and china have been rising and that has capped any serious attempt at a price rally as of late september brunt crude has been trading around 67 billion dollars per barrels while bti is in the low 60 seconds dollars These levels reflect the surplus. Also, highlight how sensitive the market remains. One disruptions in a key supply chain and prices could quickly spike. Looking ahead, the U.S. Energy Energy Information Administration expects Brent to average about 67 to 68 per barrel dollars through 25 to 20, 2025. With potential downside into 2026, its stocks continue to build. In other words, unless there is a major stock shock, the market is titles toward lower prices. But there is another layer that makes things complicated. Investment since 2019, nearly 90% of upstream spending has gone just to replace natural declines in existing fields rather than to create new products. The IEA estimates that the industry will need about 570 billion dollars per upstream investment in 2025, simply to maintain output at today's levels. If their spending falls short, millions of barrels could be lost. And the market could flip from oversupply to shortage much faster than expected. At the same time, the energy transition is no longer in the distant future; it's happening now. Electric vehicles are already displacing over one million barrels of oil demands per day, and this number is projected to rise sharply by the end of the decade. This structural shift is adding long-term uncertainty. The oil demands growth and reinforcing the idea that transport fuel consumption has peaked in many regions. So, what the next? 12 to 18 months to look like. Base case investors keep building 